Ever wondered why immigrants are leaving Canada, a country known for its welcoming nature and diverse culture? Canada is globally renowned for its high immigration rates and multicultural society. Yet some immigrants find themselves packing their bags to head back home or to another country. This seems puzzling, doesn't it? What could possibly be the reasons for this reverse migration? Could it be the economy, the weather, or perhaps something more personal? Stay tuned to discover the top 10 reasons why immigrants are leaving Canada. Coming in at the top of our list is economic challenges. Now let's be clear, Canada has a robust economy, one that many nations envy. But for immigrants, it's not always a bed of roses. Many arrive with dreams of better jobs and a higher standard of living. Yet, they often find themselves facing significant hurdles. One of the biggest challenges is securing suitable employment. Even with impressive credentials and a wealth of experience, immigrants might find it difficult to land jobs that match their skill sets. This might be due to a lack of local work experience or recognition of foreign qualifications. It's like being a round peg trying to fit into a square hole. And let's not forget the cost of living. From housing to groceries, living in Canada can be quite expensive, especially in major cities like Toronto and Vancouver. So, while the salaries might seem attractive at first, the high living costs can quickly eat into the budget. These economic struggles can make the Canadian dream seem less attainable for some immigrants. But don't lose heart, there are still plenty of reasons to consider Canada as a destination for a fresh start. If you're enjoying this video, don't forget to hit the like button, share with your friends, and subscribe for more insightful videos like this one. Your support helps us create more content that you love. Remember, it's just a click, but it means the world to us. Now back to the reasons immigrants are leaving Canada. Cultural differences make it to the second spot on our list. Now imagine moving from a place where you've spent your entire life, where everything from the food to the language, the customs, and even the humor is familiar. Now, place yourself in a brand new setting, one where all of these elements are different. This is the reality for many immigrants when they first arrive in Canada. The Canadian culture, while welcoming and diverse, can be a stark contrast to what some immigrants are used to. This difference can lead to feelings of isolation and can make the process of integration a difficult one. Some people might experience a culture shock, struggling to understand and adapt to the local customs and societal norms. The nuances of Canadian humor, the importance placed on personal space, the emphasis on punctuality, and even the Canadian way of polite disagreement might seem alien to some. Also, events like Thanksgiving, Canada Day, or even the love for ice hockey might be new experiences for many immigrants. While many immigrants do successfully navigate these cultural differences, for some, the cultural gap might be too wide to bridge. Canada's harsh winters can be a real deal-breaker, landing weather conditions as our third reason. The Great White North is known for its picture-perfect winter landscapes, but for some, it's not just about the beautiful snowy vistas. Imagine waking up to sub-zero temperatures for months on end, piles of snow blocking your driveway, and icy roads making every trip a potential hazard. For immigrants hailing from warmer climates, this can be a significant shock. The extreme cold, dark days, and long winter season can be difficult to acclimate to. It's not uncommon for the uninitiated to experience a phenomenon known as winter blues or seasonal affective disorder. It's a type of depression that's related to changes in seasons, primarily kicking in during late fall and early winter. Moreover, the harsh weather conditions can also impact day-to-day -day activities. Outdoor activities are limited, and even simple tasks like grocery shopping can become a challenge. But hey, it's not all gloom and doom. Canadians have found ways to embrace their chilly winters with exciting winter sports, cozy indoor activities, and warm, welcoming communities. But it's not everyone's cup of hot cocoa. Canada's winters aren't for everyone, and that's okay. Family separation and the education system are next on our list. Immigrants often leave behind an extended family network in their home country when they move to Canada. This separation from loved ones can be emotionally taxing. Not only do they miss out on family gatherings and milestones, but they also lose the support system they once relied on. On top of that, when emergencies or difficult situations arise, being thousands of miles away from family can feel incredibly isolating. The longing for familiar faces, customs, and even the simplest family traditions can intensify the feeling of homesickness. This emotional strain can sometimes outweigh the benefits of living in Canada, nudging some immigrants to reconsider their decision. 
Moving on to the education system, while it's true that Canada boasts one of the best education systems in the world, adapting to it can be a steep learning curve for both children and adults. For children, the difference in teaching methods, curriculum, and even language can be daunting. They may struggle to fit in or keep up with their peers, leading to stress and anxiety. For adult immigrants, continuing their education or obtaining Canadian credentials can be equally challenging. Recognizing foreign qualifications and credits can be a complicated process. Some may find themselves having to start from scratch or take additional courses, causing delays in their career progression. Furthermore, the high cost of education, especially for international students, can be prohibitive. While there are scholarships available, the competition is steep and not everyone can secure one. This financial burden, coupled with the stress of adapting to a new system, can make the education journey in Canada a tough one. These challenges, family separation and the complexities of the education system can make Canada feel less like home for some. Language barriers and the healthcare system are another two reasons why some immigrants decide to leave Canada. Imagine arriving in a new country, ready to start a fresh chapter of your life, but then you realize you're not able to communicate effectively with the locals. This is the reality for many immigrants in Canada. While English and French are the official languages, not everyone can speak or write them fluently. This language barrier can lead to social isolation and difficulty in finding employment. It can also cause misunderstandings in everyday situations, like shopping for groceries, using public transport, or even interacting with neighbors. In addition to language barriers, the healthcare system in Canada can also be a daunting aspect for immigrants. While it's often lauded for its universality, navigating this system can be confusing and overwhelming, especially for those who are not familiar with it. From understanding how provincial health insurance works, to knowing where to go for medical assistance, and even comprehending medical terminologies, these complexities can be too much for some. Furthermore, wait times for certain medical procedures and specialist appointments can be longer than what some immigrants are accustomed to in their home countries. This can lead to frustration and dissatisfaction with the healthcare system overall. These challenges, the language barrier and the complexities of the healthcare system can make the process of integrating into Canadian society difficult. It's no wonder then that some immigrants might consider leaving Canada in search of a place where they feel they can more easily belong and navigate their everyday lives. It's clear that these challenges can make settling in Canada a difficult task. Wrapping up our list, we have housing, immigration policies, and the job market. These are big ticket items that can significantly impact an immigrant's decision to stay or leave Canada. First up, housing. While Canada is known for its beautiful landscapes and spacious living, the reality can be quite different. In major cities like Toronto and Vancouver, housing affordability is a growing concern. It's not uncommon for immigrants to face sticker shock when they first encounter Canadian real estate prices. This challenge is compounded by the fact that many newcomers arrive without a Canadian credit history, making it even more difficult to secure a home. Next, we delve into the complex world of immigration policies. Canada is often praised for its multiculturalism and openness to immigrants. However, the path to permanent residency or citizenship is not always straightforward. The process can be long, convoluted, and fraught with bureaucratic hurdles. This complexity can be discouraging, especially for those who feel they are in a state of limbo, unable to fully settle down or plan for the future. Finally, we turn to the job market. While Canada's economy is diverse and robust, landing that first job can be a significant hurdle. Immigrants often find themselves faced with a conundrum. Canadian employers prefer local experience, but without a job, how does one gain this experience? This can lead to a frustrating cycle of underemployment or employment in jobs that do not match an immigrant's skills or qualifications. These final points highlight some of the systemic issues that can make Canada less appealing to immigrants. So, there you have it, the top 10 reasons why immigrants are leaving Canada. From economic challenges to cultural differences, weather conditions to family separation, education to language barriers, healthcare, housing, immigration policies, and the job market. It's a complex issue, with many individual factors influencing decisions. Remember, everyone's immigration journey is unique and these reasons might not apply to everyone. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.